Let's talk about space and here to help me do that is Amma from the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Centre. Um, Amma, it's been such an exciting time the last couple of months for the UAE. Uh, tell me about how it's been for a nation to have your first two astronauts and to have your first astronaut in space and tell me what, the, what role the Space Centre has played in making that happen. Well definitely, I mean it has been uh uh, more than 10 years, the Mohammed Barash Space Center since uh, the establishment. And we have done a lot of achievements uh, throughout the way with uh, launching several satellites, uh, announcing and working on the Mars mission. But this year, in October, we celebrated uh, the return of uh, the first astronaut, Hazza Al Mansouri. You know, this program uh, it was initiated in uh, 2017, mm -hmm. and since then, the center. Uh, was uh, involved heavily in the full selection process. More than 4,000 people applied wow. to be this guy, the first person to go to space from the UAE. And then we go through the selection process. Uh, we reached up to these uh, two great astronauts, uh, Hazza Al Mansouri and Sultan Al Niadi. Uh, you know, throughout the, the whole mission, the UAE have learned so much. We have uh, cooperated with all uh, the big players in the International Space Station from NASA to ESA to JAXA and mainly with uh, Roscosmos. They were our partners to uh, launch uh, and uh, return safely yeah. our first astronaut. So the program itself uh, it has been um, a big support to the what's happening in the UAE in terms of space. And uh, what we did, uh, we focused on the impact of this mission uh, on all aspects uh, going from all the kids and the young generation up to the international cooperation. I think it has been a great example of what the UAE wants uh, from the space sector and from the space projects. Well, I wanted to ask because as an international audience we've watched on and uh, uh, Hazar Amansouri spent just over a week up there in space at the International Space Station. Tell me about the sense of pride. Tell me about what it feels to have a man from your nation in space. What, what has that created uh, for your country? You see, space is always inspiring. Space is always challenging at the same time. So this is what uh, we, we noticed uh, in this mission, you know, to be able to uh, train this guy, to be able to send him to space, for him to do all these uh, different activities, yeah. all these scientific experiments. This makes us uh, say to the world that the UAE is always looking for cooperation. The UAE always uh, challenging itself and uh, we are working as one team with the whole world to discover things, to explore the space. You know, so much benefits comes from space and this is what we hope for uh, from this mission and the following missions. Uh, as a UAE uh, person, as an Emirati, I believe uh, that the UAE with this step uh, reached another big milestone and achievement. Yeah. Uh, now, whenever we go to the world, we know and we can say proudly that we are now part of the space community. We have our man in space and we will continue to do that. Uh, you know, what we gain from all these activities and programs, we see it on the floor here on the ground. Uh, a lot of the people, a lot of the, I mean, they come from different backgrounds, but they are excited. They are enjoying these moments and they feel uh, energized with yeah. what we achieve. Uh, so I believe this is a key role, what space is doing is, is a key role in um, uh, looking uh, to the future, in pushing us even further in all aspects. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm so proud. Of it. I mean, I was, work I was working with them and uh, I think uh, everybody in the UAE and the Arab uh, nation, uh, all the Arab world are uh, excited and happy about this achievement. It's great to I, I can feel the pride shining on me for, from you speaking about it just there. Um, so, I mean, before we go, um, just tell me what's next. I mean, I can see UAE Mission 1. There's a number there that suggests there will be further missions, but you also mentioned uh, Mars missions as well. So give our viewers a flavour of about what they might be able to expect in the next few years or so from UAE and space. Well, let's see. Uh, Mohammed Barash Space Centre is now uh, managing and executing the UAE National Space Program. The National Space Program has four main pillars. The one is developing satellites here in the UAE. Yep. So if you are an engineer, if you are a scientist, if you are really excited about working in these projects, definitely you can join MBRSE and start working on this uh, developing 
key technologies, state of the art technologies here in the OE in our missions. The second one is the Hope Probe, which is the next challenge that is coming to us. Uh, is now almost ready, uh, being pre prepared for the launch next year in uh, mid next year, mm -hmm. hoping for it to reach Mars wow. in 2021, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the UAE. Uh, it's a big challenge, mm -hmm. you know. 50% of the missions that went to Mars failed. So it's something that we are uh, challenging ourselves with. And we want to share all the science data that will definitely come from this mission with all the science community, understanding Mars, what happened to Mars, what made it uh, the red planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the astronaut program, we have uh, this one as uh, mission one, but definitely we are looking for much more missions with uh, longer periods and more scientific research that will happen over there. The bigger picture also on the fourth program, which is the Mars 2117, where the UAE wishes to working with all the international uh, key players in establishing the first city on Mars in 100 years. So along with that, a lot of the research and development will happen uh, here in the UAE in the Mars Science City, which we hope to establish and bring all the researchers to help us understand better what happened to Mars, challenge ourselves to be able to build a city on Mars that will definitely enable us to live in a much better life here on Earth. A city on Mars. Listen, Amma, that's fascinating stuff. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on Dubai Air Show TV and I wish you all the very best for the rest of this year's show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dave.